Everybody knows that volcanoes are one of the most dangerous things on planet Earth, and some of them could potentially put an end to life on Earth. One of the biggest and most dangerous volcanoes on Earth is located in the United States, and it's getting itself ready to eventually explode. The name of this volcano is Yellowstone, First of all, you have to know that this volcano is not like any other volcano. It's not like a mountain with an opening type volcano. This is a super volcano, which is located in the state of Wyoming, the least populated state in America. The size of this super volcano is 55 by 72 kilometers. And they predict when this thing erupts, it's gonna make a ginormous opening. And if it doesn't put an end to life on Earth, it will for sure end life on North America. Scientists say that eventually, this volcano will erupt. And it seems like it's slowly going that way. They're really trying to study this place to understand how it works. And they look at all the activities. Let's forget about all that. If this volcano erupts, what would happen? First of all, you have to know that Yellowstone in the last 2 million years has erupted 3 times. And some people are worried that this is gonna happen again pretty soon. 100,000 years is a short time for planet Earth and they don't really know when the next eruption is gonna happen. It could happen tomorrow or it could happen in 100,000 years. No geologist can really predict when the next eruption is going to be. Let's get back to what we were talking about. What happens if Yellowstone erupts tomorrow? If you live in North America and Yellowstone decides to erupt, there really isn't any hope to stay alive because you don't have any time to run. Let me ask you another thing about Yellowstone. What makes this a super volcano? A thing that makes it a super volcano is that the eruption is gonna be super explosive. When some people talk about volcano eruption, you just imagine a peak and lava is coming out of it and around it there's gonna be pools of lava. Yellowstone will also do this, but that would be the least of your worries. The main problem is going to be that the explosion is going to be so bad that the lava will fly into the air, cool off, and turn into ash. When you see that volcanic ash, you're going to think to yourself, I wish it was just lava and not this ash. Every living thing in a radius of a thousand kilometers is gonna be dead because that explosion and the ash is not gonna let any living thing survive. What the ash will do is that it will make the air so thick that breathing is not possible and that's why pretty much every living thing is gonna die. The way the ash works is that when it enters your lung, it's gonna turn into cement inside your lung and it's not gonna let you breathe anymore. All the buildings will collapse because the ash that will sit on the ground is gonna weigh so much that every roof will be caved in. You could pretty much say this ash is like cement and when 30 centimeters of ash sits on any building, it can't hold all that weight. It's like having 200 tons of cement on top of your roof and obviously your roof can't handle all that. 1000 kilometer radius, everybody's pretty much dead. There's no animal, there's no humans. Even cockroaches that will survive nuclear attacks will be dead because of the ash. Let's go see what happened outside of the 1000 kilometer radius. On the east coast of the United States, which is pretty far from Wyoming, there's gonna be a centimeter of ash sitting everywhere. 
Even though one centimeter doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're breathing over there, you're gonna breathe in all that ash. Don't look at all this ash that's sitting on the ground. Most of it is gonna be in the air. And this is probably the most dangerous thing about volcanic ash. This ash will block out the sun and quickly Earth's temperature will get really cold and all of Earth's temperature will decrease by 10 Celsius. And this all of a sudden decrease in temperature is going to have horrible effects in the environment. All the farms will be destroyed. First of all, the weather is going to be really cold. There is no sunlight and there is ash everywhere in the air and on the ground. In conclusion, this ash is going to ruin everything on planet Earth. You could kind of say the people that died in the thousand kilometer radius are lucky because the people that stayed alive have to live in a hell hole of ash. And breathing in all that ash is going to slowly kill you. But you don't have to worry, at least not right now. Because scientists and geologists say the chances of an eruption in Yellowstone is really slim. And the eruption we were talking about is a super explosion. And that only happens when there's a lot of energy and it has nowhere to go. But Yellowstone releases its energy day by day and it also has hydrothermal explosions to release its energy. So instead of ash coming out, there's steam. They say in the last 600,000 years, there have been a lot of hydrothermal explosions and all these explosions help the volcano release its energy so it doesn't explode with all the held back energy. If you want to visit this volcano, you have to go to Yellowstone National Park, which is located in Wyoming. So where is this volcano? You can't even see it. The volcano is the park, and the whole park is over the volcano. And if this volcano erupts, you could say the whole park is probably going to be thrown 500 kilometers across the country. 